Hey, once I get more time, it's, once I'm done with school and we have a lot more time to do shit, and I'll probably start it up again. Yeah. I'll probably put it under the plug of like fucking Menace plus Magoo or something. So yesterday was Beaver Fest for reference, just to give you guys an idea of where the timeline is at this point. It's like 3 o'clock, I woke up and haven't done shit. I haven't even unloaded anything from the cars yet, aside from perishable food. Yeah, we went to Sunland yesterday after Beaver Fest to pick up parts. We got a whole rear end out of an Auto M3, and it came with some goodies. So not only does it have the 3.38 medium case limited slip diff that we want, I also picked up a subframe, which we're not going to use on the Cheeto. Brakes. But we got M3 brakes, came with some slotted rotors, or drilled rotors. It came with adjustable lower control arms, little camera arms, and it already has um, poly trailing arm bushings. So the only thing that's kind of shitty is I don't know if we're going to be able to fit 16s on the rear now with Why? the M3 brakes. Those? No. We're putting different oh, trailing yeah. arms on. The new ones, we're putting those trailing arms on that have the brakes on there. I don't know if we're going to be able to put 16s back on it. <laughs> so what do yeah. I have to do back here? You have to pull, so the shock mount's like literally right back there, so you got to pull all this shit back. So, okay. Just be careful not to put anything on the battery that's metal, otherwise we're going to have a bad life. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, dude, the teeth are like super fucked up on this thing. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, I can see that. Time to throw that shit away. That's what I'm saying. Good thing we got the new one. Yeah. With that Lux, that's probably why you it didn't fucking work. Uh, Maybe. just throw it in the back for now. Is that low enough? Yep. Got it. Yep. All right. Getting off. Let's yoink the other side. Good technique. <laughs> huh? So let's yoink the other side. No, 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 but what do you think about that technique? It was fucking ace, dude. Did I put all your weight on that shit? <laughs> Ow. You got it? Yeah. Nice. All right. Fuck yeah. Um, the sway bar mounts. This guy should be a 13. So you want to take that off on both ends? That one. And then this? No, just this. So this control arm is going to stay here. We're replacing the trailing arm, which has this whole thing. That. Yeah. This, um, we're replacing the lower control arm, so we'll take that off at the subframe after we get the diff out. So that's a 13? Yeah, it's a 13, should be a 13. And there's one on each side. Um, crack them loose and then use the quarter because I got to take the axles off. Fucking tiny ass 318 bar, dude. Right. Did you get the sway bar for the M3? Yeah. Ooh. You want to get the jack up in here? Yeah, that's what's going to help. Center of the big boy. I mean the small boy. Oh, it's going to fucking hurt. I can see it already. <laughs> Packed them all before. There you go. That should be... Out. Yeah, that works. <laughs> that That's what I'm talking about. Do you want to start getting the brake covers off? Sure. Careful when you're doing that last trailing our bull because that thing's going to come fucking John Cena, fucking Cold Stone Steve Austin, your ass. I know. Uh, this one I'm not going to be able to because it's angled. Stone Cold Steve Austin, yes. John Cena. Those trailing arms are not light, dude. But I wouldn't want to be in the way on the way down. <laughs> Very uneventful. Well, it's better than it yeah, shit hitting the ground it. hard as shit. Fucking ass up, fucking something up. Oh, I didn't even take the fucking wheel speed sensor off this one. Oof. Now what? Move all our hardware. Just a bit. Can I get that control arm out? Like that. And this needs to come through here. That is staying. 
for now. And then we need to feed the parking brake cables through. Um, Did you disconnect them? Yeah, they're disconnected up there. We just need to feed the cables through. So we need to disconnect them from where now? There's a, there's a little thing in there that we need to pull out. Um, let's get the diff on the ground. <laughs> Come to me. Might as well give my your little, fucking your viewers some shit. Throw, throw a little lo-fi in the vlogs, bro. A little lo-fi in the fucking background of the vlog. Mm, maybe. I just don't want to be cutting to music. Now that we got the real estate. That word you saying, dude. Then we even. pop the old one out and fucking weld that one That's and then we just get another 318 and just, just keep cycling. Alright, you want to manhandle that thing out of there and we can stick it next to the uh, M3 diff. See what it looks like. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, get the back workout, bro! Ugh. So guess which one's the M3 diff? There's that extra yeah, length, dude, bro. Look at just the size of the actual mounting yeah. flanges. They're fucking huge. You mongor, dude. Big old fucking limited slip. Oh, it came with the speed sensors. Okay. Them young poly trailing on bushings, dude. Oh, fuck. Those things are solid. Jesus. <laughs> that's the lower controller. Oh. That's the uh, camera. It looks way different. Yeah, no, it's a camber arm. It's an aftermarket camber oh, arm. Yeah. So I got all the hardware shit for that. It'll be cool. So we'll put, we'll take that off. Once we get the diff in, we'll put the upper control arm. No, we'll put the trailing arm on. Then we'll put the upper control arm on. We'll get the axle on. Then we'll put the lower control arm on. And then we'll run our brakes. And so our we'll take that off first. Brake. Yeah, exactly. On both. Garbage. That one's garbage, bro. This ball joint is garbage. Well, that's what I mean. But I'm going to clean these up, tear them apart, and refurbish them because I have poly bushings for these for the sedan. So I'm probably going to run these arms on the sedan. And clean them up. Is that the subframe? This is the subframe right here. Oh, okay. So I'll take this off. I'm going to melt all the bushings and then send that into um, Garagistic to get it reinforced and painted. And then I'll send it back and I'll slap the poly shit in there. And then you ink it, dude. The poly shit, and they can put it in for you. No, super poly is super easy. You just just okay. pop it in there. So, hopefully, rebuilding the suspension on this. If I get everything planned and done right, it'll be like literally a one-day thing. Just start in the morning, rip the whole shit out, put all the new stuff in, align it, you know, and it'll be bitching. Some pretty fatty brakes already. The boxing wrench is right there. Oh, it's right there by the axle. Hey, man. Look at these brakes, dog. Of parts. Uh, set them by the bag actually. I washed them off on the bottom left. Easy. They're fine. Look at baby. This axle is a lot thicker than that one. <laughs> like a significantly more. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with that? Dude, they're the complete opposite where th that one goes wide. It's wide there and it goes kind of thinner and then wider again. This one goes. Then, then wide, <laughs> then thin. So to mount the diff, we don't need any, th anything in there first, right? 
not really. We need to have the um, the lower control arms because it's you have to move the diff to mount the control arms. So I'm thinking we just throw these on first, and then we'll put the diff in. Okay, well you swapped it, so you wanted to put the diff in first, and then... Yeah. We'll put the trailing arms on, and then the diff, and then all the small shit, like the speed sensors and whatnot. My good sir. Alright, these are ready to go in. Alright, let's do it. Hot dog. Hot dog. This is over here. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You right? I think we should get the upper control arm on first, and with the bolts in and holding. This one? Yeah, and then we can put the lower on, and then we'll go for the trailing arm. Because I want to be able to move it like this way to get the lower on. So it'll probably be easier to pivot off the upper. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So let's get it up on the jack. Alright, we got our lower on. Yeah. So the upper is on but not tight. And then we need to start working that trailing arm in. And it is starting to rain. Jack it up. Jack it up. Yeah. Keep going. But it's in. Yeah, it's in. You just tighten them all down. Get the fucking zippy boy. No, no gun? Yeah. Well, one of them you couldn't get with that. Yeah, I could. I got all three. Oh, did you? Yeah. Where did that 18 box in? Oh, here it is. All right. Yeah, hey, let's zap, zap the upper control arm into place. Ooh. All right, so I was letting the camera charge while we do the other side. These are the UO plates my good sir gave to me when we picked up all the rear end stuff. So we're repping straight Euro. We got the other side on, and it is time for the pumpkin, baby. A little LSD action. Start taking it up. Close the gap. Ooh, this is fucking heavy. Oh, dude, those are the rear flanges, boy. All right, boys. We have a complete LSD, complete M3 diff bolted down. Everything is dialed in. Danny O is working on getting that one axle in. Young Joshua boy came through. Peekaboo! Yeah, dude, literally as soon as this thing has an exhaust on and it's registered, oh, yeah. it can drift, dude. Those brakes, though, be... man. Fucking A. I love them. And they got like red calipers, too. It's like perfect, dude. It's perfect. Proud, dude. I'm a proud poppy. And I was smiling, so like, <laughs> it can be right in the cheek, but I was smiling, oh. so it was all puffed up, so it didn't even hurt. Like, it just, it just felt like this. <laughs> nice. And there's this one I gotta get. There's one more. Here, spin, spin it. Hold my tip for me. Sometimes it takes more than one hand.
The oh. cheapo. More like the cheapo. <laughs> <laughs> down, bro. That's funny. It's so weird that one drive, that one diff is way, th or one axle is way thicker than the other. I don't know why that is. I think it's just one broke, so they just replaced one. That's what I'm saying. The guy that you bought it from probably had no idea. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. So it mad started raining, so we kind of chilled out. But Josh hasn't hear heard it. this thing fire up. Neither has Danny's girlfriend. You want me to start it, or you want to start it? I'm sorry. the other day and let it rain for like 20 minutes. got dark and it cleared up raining so we're gonna call it for the day we got the heavy shit of it done so the diff and suspension is in all of the little stuff is not on though the sway bar isn't on the calipers aren't on all the sensors and all that stuff aside from the speed sensor and the diff isn't plugged in so there's still a ways to go most of the heavy lifting is done so we're probably gonna hit it tomorrow if it's not raining and then get it dialed in and then we just need to pedal assembly then the whole thing will drive so it'll be pretty sweet Just